All right, hello everybody. This is the bus driver and I'm here to take you to school. We're back with some more NHL 18 franchise mode here with your Columbus Blue Jackets in year one. In the last episode, we just started up, decided what we're gonna do with this team, how it's looking. Um, one thing I didn't really think about is moving some guys we don't really need to either free up cap space or roster space. So let's just take a quick look here. Um, Ben, while well, we probably don't need in terms of age. Oh, my batteries might die. That's not good. Uh, who else here might we not need by age? Gaunt and Dalby. There you go. So there's a couple guys we don't really need. Calvert is playable. He's in the NHL right now. Matt Calvert. We'll keep him for now. Other than that, I think we're good. So let's just see if we can find someone who can... Oops, I didn't hit A. <clears throat> let's just find someone who can maybe take these three for us make some room Ooh, there you go okay fudge didn't work again are you kidding me okay last time there we go uh, Boston has a lot of room and cap space Colorado's got room and cap space I want my moon on Boston uh, the Islanders have cap and space you know what let's move these guys to Colorado see if they'll take them fourth rounder oh we might even be able to get a third what do you know oh fuck we can get more than a third yeah like a third and a fourth that's not bad True. projected Rejected, fudge gates. Okay, so we can't get a third. Let's try for this third. Okay, we'll we'll make this work. Let's try that. Jeez, they are not budging here. Luckily, they don't get pissed at us. All right, give me a sixth. There we go. All that for a sixth rounder. That's fine. We've got a little bit more space here. We'll best lines it for now. And we will do some. My batteries died. One second. Ugh. Should have done that first, but oh well. Okay, so. If you remember the last one, we were looking to sign some new free agents. Yammer Yager, Jerome McGinley, Dennis Weidman. Then also a goalie here. A Weitzman. There we go. So those are some guys we're hoping to get here. So let's advance a couple days, see what happens. Okay. Cap space. Oh, I should have done that team meeting. Darn it. Uh, budget's okay. I already looked at that. Advance the day. They should start signing. Sorella accepted. Perfect. I don't sign pro promotion nights. I'm not a huge fan of that. I was saying those nights. Iggy accepted. Yager accepted. Weidman accepted. Shrimp accepted. Weitzman accepted. Perfect. You know what? I think that's our whole... Uh, Whole team, and we're a championship status right now for this team, so that's interesting. All right, let's bring up Dennis Weidman. Let's bring up Yammer Yager and Jerome Iginla, and then let's bring up Robbie Shrimp. Ah, oh, yes, I need to swap you with Schroeder. There we go. Now let's go best lines and let's go change up those lines. Quick edit, shouldn't take too long, um, otherwise I'll cut it if it does. But um, how we're looking right now, Panarin, Wenberg, Atkinson, not the worst. Wenberg's a first liner, Atkinson's a second, that's okay. 
Aaron's a first. Playmaker, Sniper, Atkinson, or... You know what? Let's go with Yager here. Let's put Yager on the first line. Uh, Dubinsky is a second liner. And Nick Feligno. Oh, and you know what? Boone Jenner is a... We'll move like that. There we go. Put Boone Jenner up there. Robbie Shrimp can be over there. And then Jerome McGinla. Why not? Actually, maybe there's a reason why not. Let's see. Oliver Yorkstrand should be in there. There we go. Yorkstrand can be there. Uh, Calvert over. No, we'll put Mott in there. There we go, Tyler Mott. He's a sniper there. We'll do it that way. You know, Flea knows better than that, but uh, that's fine. Aguila's on the bench, and uh, who else was on the bench there? That's okay. I think... I think that's good. Good. Defensively. Wierenski and Savard, Seth Jones, Ryan Murray, Jack Johnson, and Nuvara versus Dennis Wideman. Probably Wideman. No, we'll give the rookie some time. There we go. The 23-year-old. Good. Uh, and then goalies, of course, Bobrovsky and Corpusalo is the backup. And he is a backup. I'm hoping he grows here. He should be our goalie of the future. And like I said, um, um, I didn't say this, but uh, I have been doing some of these, uh, or I did a franchise mode offline here, and uh, good things are coming out of it, so I'm liking what what I'm seeing. Let's get York Strand in here. Um, there's, you know, third and fourth liners. No, not him. Not York Strand. Oliver York Strand. There you go. Third and, or third and fourth round draft picks that are, that are um, you know, me and potential. That's really cool. And um, what else was kind of cool? Let's put Ryan uh, in there. Ryan Murray. Oh, what else was I going to say? And then, actually, you know what? Columbus won the cup in the second year. So, like I said in the last episode, we might just be two years from the cup. So, and that kind of proved it there. So, I thought that was funny. All right, that's good. Dubinsky and Jager. I'm not a huge fan of it. Let's go with York Strand. And Boone Jenner. Yeah, why not? There we go. Jack Johnson, Dennis Savard, Seth Jones, Wierenski. Let's move Jack Johnson, put in Ryan Murray. There we go. And do this. Perfect. PK. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, not great. Okay, yeah, sure. Why not? Get Jack Johnson in here somewhere. Let's put Jack Johnson here. He's a lefty, is he not? Yes, right. There, we'll do that way. Sure. That should work. You know what? Seth Jones and Dennis Savard. Sure. That's fine. And three man. Okay, that'll that'll do. Wierenski will put in Jack Johnson. Actually, Jack Johnson? Oh, no, he's a two-way. Okay, or two-way D-man, yeah. Let's see. How's his defense work? 87? Yeah, actually, he's not bad. Defensively, he's got a decent shot, too. There we go. Let's do it that way. Weinberg, Panarin, sure. Dubinsky, Atkinson, sure. Tremp and Yager, no. Let's go with York Strand. There we go. Weinberg, Dubinsky. Why not Tremp? Hmm. Let's go with Panera in there. Good, 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 good. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Instead of here, we're going to put in Yamamoto Yager, Yaromir Yager, and then over... Actually, Yager's a lefty, so we'll do that. And then who do we want? Yeah, Jenner's not bad. Maybe we put York Strand in there. We might be giving York Strand a little bit too much time here, but... Uh, we, he might grow. Aaron and... No, we'll put Panarin, and then we'll put in... Yes, Wenberg. 
and shootouts. Good, 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 good. Yeah, good. Perfect. All right, AHL, uh, best lines. Not much there we need. Let's just check the lineups. Sonny Milano, he's our main guy. Like I said before, we don't have much in the AHL in terms of growth. It's uh, mostly in the... Actually, where's... Uh, where's Sorella? I see not playing. Probably because he's terrible. But there we go. Anyone else I want to make sure is playing? Nope. 26. Durakoff, maybe. I wouldn't mind him playing. And then right wingers. Scott, not really. Well, sure would I probably would like, but that's okay. All right, not a huge deal. Defensively, I think we're pretty good here. Is there anyone? Gray's not a not a big deal if he plays or not. And then goalies. Portland skins and Wiseman Thiessen is a... Okay, yeah, perfect. Perfect team, perfect lineups. We're going to do the preseason here and then head probably into December even. Is my... Uh... What was the Cleveland Monsters? Interesting. Hmm. I thought they were Lake Erie Monsters. Anyways, I guess I gotta... I think I got that wrong. Uh, let's... Let's advance this way. Take a look at our calendar. Advance that season opener here against the New York Islanders. See what we can do. We are 3-2. and two. That's not a bad start. 3-3 three and three now. Okay, not bad. Okay, we're aware of the cap. Ooh, three and four. Not a good not a good end there in the last minute, but scouting assignment. Perfect. Morale from locker room. Okay. Let's go take a look. Yarmor Yager. Hey, Yager likes being hard ass on him. Okay. Seems like everyone still likes the hard ass approach. That's fine. All right. Game one against the New York Islanders. Let's take a look over here. Hold a team meeting. Let's go, boys. Let's be happy. Let's demand. There we go. Lots of growth. I like seeing that. So it's kind of safe in here. Sherwood's not happy. But that's okay. Perfect. Let's advance. I think there's an uh, a owner goal to win our first game. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Big win. How much did we win by, though? 5-3, boys. This is Dubinsky with two points. Not bad. Kind of like how it shows all that stuff. You can also see where you sit with the team. All right, let's do a month here. Take a look at how the team looks. Big win there against Chicago. 5-4 overtime win. All right, so I have noticed one thing. Injuries are a huge part of this one. Um, they they seem to if you if you guys an injury problem he has an injury problem I had a uh, that was weird I had a goalie who uh, had four different injuries in the year and it was ridiculous all right we gotta look at this an injury already to deal with let's put in third Chris sure why not. it'll be a good year for rookies I like that. 4 0 oh, 1 to start the year. Not too bad. Seth Jones has a sore knee. Ooh. Alright. This is where Dennis Weidman comes in. I think he's a righty as well. Yeah, he is. That's pretty nice. That's handy. Big win there against Winnipeg. Big win against Tor uh, Tampa. Oh, I'm liking this. Seth Jones is back already, too. Good year so far, boys. I'm excited. Let's get Seth Jones back in. Hope he doesn't hurt himself. Shutout win there. That's two shutouts this month already for Bob Rowski. He's crushing it. This, hey, I'm getting pretty excited here. 
Seven zero and one to start the year. Jonathan Bailey for no decline. Glad it auto defaults to decline. Ooh, we lost a Buffalo. That one kind of hurts. Don't like to lose to Buffalo. Uh, Vino, sure, we'll put him back in. Why not? Nah, it doesn't really matter. 2-6-1 for Winnipeg. Not a good start for them. Ooh, and we beat St. Louis, who had our number there in Chicago. So it's nice that we uh, beat them there with Columbus. Shut out there against Boston. Jared Tenorti, isn't he... He's pretty old, is he not? Oh, he's 25. 73 overall? No, that's okay. He's not going to help us too much. 10-1-1 to start. Ooh, there's our second loss. That was an ugly one against Florida. And Ryan Murray has a concussion. Are you kidding me? That hurts. Alright, let's put in this Weidman here. There. Big win there. Alright, 11-2-1 to start the year. Huge, huge start. We should be first in the uh, division at least. There you are. We or There we are. Two games less than Pittsburgh and we're beating them by three. That's great to see. Cam Askinson, 19 points in 14 games. Not bad for him. Let's, uh, let's take a quick look here. At points, 19 for Atkinson, 15 for Dubinsky. So that's that second line, isn't it? Panarin's got 14 on the first. Uh, Wenberg's got 13. So here you go. We got three guys at point per game or better. One just under, Boone Jenner just under, and actually Yager not doing so well there on the first line, but um, we'll uh, we'll keep him around still. Uh, York Strand not doing too bad. He is a minus two, but uh, he's got one power play goal, three power play points. Not bad. Zach Wierenski on our first, our, de our defense, sorry. Um, he's not doing too bad. We'll have to see how some of these guys grow. Robbie Shrimp actually four points surprisingly, and just a quick look at goalies here. Uh, Bobrovsky seven one and one, Corpusalo four and one. Actually, Corpusalo's got one of the shutouts. And look at that save percentage point nine three and point nine two. Hell yeah, boys! Goals against two point oh eight and two point five. That's not bad. I'll take it. I didn't know Bobrovsky was undrafted. That's pretty cool. Anyways, let's uh, let's do another month here. We'll probably go into January in this episode. That sounds about right off the top of my head. Yeah, sure, why not? Blake Sibner has an injured knack. That sucks. Defense, yeah. There we go. Put Graves in there. All right, let's see some more wins here, boys. Same way, yeah, there you go, another shutout. And Ryan Murray's back. Whatever we're doing is working, and so let's keep it that way. Oh yeah, and then Schrabnerger is back. I'm not gonna be able to get some of these names. They are ridiculous. Sibinaller, Sibinaller. All right, that wasn't so bad. My mistake. Big win there too. 13, two and one, boys. Brandon Dubinsky for a second and third. No, thank you. Actually, that reminds me. I should check our trade block. Okay, lost there to Detroit, but you gotta lose some of them. You're not gonna win 82 in a row. That's usually how it works. Um, ooh, and you know what? Uh, Panarin took over 20 points in 18 games. Uh, we are looking for. Oh, okay, just checking here. That all looks good. Um, trade block. No, we wanna. No, no, this is right. Yes. Minsky and Johnson, no. Let's put on... Hmm. Nick Foligno, actually. I could move him. Four years at 5.5. That'd be a nice to to move him for someone. Pierre-Luc Dubois. I'm hoping he grows. Uh, actually, you know what? Brand Dubinsky. Isn't he on our second line, though? He is, but I could definitely use someone better than him. So, you know what? Let's put him back on. Actually, this might be a matter of salary... Whose salary really hurts us? Panarin's good. Dubinsky hurts. So that's why he's on there. Felino hurts. 
Seth Jones is good, good. Actually, Jack Johnson, we could do without. Dennis Tavar just turned 27, that... Oh, well. Ah, there's a hair in my mouth. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, let's put Jack Johnson on there. And you know what? I don't mind getting 4th, 5th, and 6th in this game anymore. Because there's actually some uh, good potential guys down there. That are worth, you know, taking a run on. So I will make that risk. And actually, it's kind of fun. They're at, the CPUs are actually making trades with those 5th, 6th, 7th that are meaningful. You know? Throwing them in is a little bit of a, a an edge to make a trade go through. Oh yeah, give me a stack. I will give you a 7th plus this thing. And it's like, oh, okay, that's not so bad. You know, a little bit of a sweetener, that's what I'd call it. Alright, uh, forwards, they are good. There's 73 here. Yeah, let's go look at those American snipers. 14, 3, and 1, not bad. Shut out by uh, Carey Price and the Canadians. That hurts a little bit, but... Uh, that's a that's a goalie that you... It's a hard day. A 1-0 loss. That's a, that's a pretty much a win against a hard goalie like that, man. It's just one bounce. That uh, doesn't go your way. Nyquist and Advocator for Jack Johnson. No, I don't want to take on that much money. Nyquist, I don't think, is too bad. But I don't think he grows. A first for Felino, Third, fourth, and sixth. Ooh. A first next year. But the big thing is we l remove uh, a couple million off our books. Not yet. I kind of like that trade, though. Big wins here, boys. 17-4-1. Bobrovsky must be carrying us. Uh, I'm going to give a lot of credit to Bobrovsky here until I see otherwise. Ooh, that hurt. Montreal crushed us that time. Okay, Shrimp, sure. This is not looking good. We have no depth centers. Uh, let's put Iggy in there. See if he can get going. Good thing is we don't lose too many games in a row here. We, we quickly bounce back, it looks like. Alright, let's take a quick break here. Take a look at the team. 29 points for Panarin, not bad. We are first in the division. Oh, and we got a 6-point lead already. That's not bad this early. Alright, let's see. Panarin, 29. Wenberg, 25. That's a good first line right there. No, Wenberg's on the second. My mistake. But he's a first liner. So, you know what? Let's move him up to the first line. Oh, wait. No, he must be already on the first line. Dubinsky's on the second. Yeah. Okay. We'll double check that. Ah, uh, what else we got here? Yager's got 18, so he's picked up his game a little bit. Yorkstrand, minus 3, but... Uh, he does have five power play points. That's not too bad. Another two that month. All right, let's see these goalies. Am I giving Bobrovsky the right love? 0.93 save percentage. Yeah, he's earned it. 2.02 save. Bobrovsky is the reason we are winning these games. <clears throat> he deserves all the credit there. And let's just quickly take a look and see if guys are growing here. We have a championship caliber team, apparently. I'd agree. Seth Jones is growing. Ooh. Ryan Murray's growing. Ooh. I like that. I like that. I can do with that. Uh. In the system, how are we looking here? Steven Aller. Sunny Milano's growing a little bit. Okay. Not sure if there's a difference between the green growth and the yellow growth. I think some one means morale, one means natural growth. Maybe one's statistical. I don't know. But, uh. If you know in the chat, let me inform me, please. That would be great. Uh, let's finish off December. Then we'll take a break. Or not a break, we'll, we'll call it an episode. Oh yeah, so... Oh, no, there we go, that's what we want. Wenberg's back from his injury. Let's look at those Russian snipers. Dion Fagouf. Ooh, no thank you. Not interested in Dion Fagouf. Not after what a joke he is. Wierenski injured his ribs. Ooh, he's back in a couple days, though. That's not the worst. 
So, Ryan Murray, you'll get a call up. Let's go with this. Wideman here, and you know what? Let's move. Since Savar is now 27, let's move Seth Jones up. Give him some growth. A uh, year to lose D? No, I'm not interested. Or Colin Wilson, no. Ooh, shut out by New Joyzy. That hurts. Gabriel Carlson's injured. Man, these injuries. I might have to turn down the injury rate. At, like, at least uh, it's not hurting us too bad, but... Let's go with... Uh, let's put Sonny Milano here. There we go. <clears throat> 1972, not bad. Marinsky's back. Now Ryan Murray, yeah, that's fine. We'll put Wierenski here. Zach Wierenski, there we go. Ooh, lost to Jersey again. Paul Statsny, ooh. No, thank you. Okay, 19, 8, and 3. Not the best month for us so far. Um, we're hurting a bit here. Oh, but we shut out Connor McJesus and the Edmonton Oilers. Dubinsky's back. That helps. All right, let's put him in. Iggy's up to an 80 now. Right from that morale growth. Let's put him in there. Brandon Dubinsky. How's Felino doing? He's a second liner. We got him on the fourth. That's probably not helping him grow too much. Yeah. Ooh. 21 versus... So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's move Atkinson up there with Wenberg. And you know what? I kind of want to get Feligno up there. But I think that's going to be a hard one to swing. If we do that, might be okay. Let's try that a little bit. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think about the lines. Who goes where? So far, not bad. So far, so good. 21.93 to start. Got two more weeks here in December, then we'll do a quick wrap up to end the episode. Sometimes this happens too, where it. Uh, get stuck thinking usually because like an injury or a something else comes up and uh, it just takes a while for it to work itself through it usually doesn't take too long but uh, seems like this one might be a little while and really there's nothing you can do you just gotta wait it out it'll eventually figure itself out There we go. So this is why a big trade they want to offer. Carl Gunnarsson. No, sorry, that's <laughs> reading that wrong. Toronto's first, Patrick Marlowe, their second, and Joffrey Lupo. For Carlson, Jack Johnson, and our second. Interesting. This is a pretty big trade here. How's Patrick Marlowe's overall? Because I'd take a first rounder. He's an 83 sniper left winger. And Joffrey Looper's a right... Uh, Really, you're doing this. And actually, you know what? They make some trades to make you take on salary cap or to take on salary cap. It's kind of cool. They'll give you like a bad guy with a high salary plus like a second for a fourth. And it's kind of like, okay, you're doing a salary dump. I get it. Second and fourth for Dubinsky. No, thank you. All right. Hurting here a little bit. Let's finish off this month real quick. But um, we are not looking good right now. For this month, 22, 12, and 3. I mean, it's still a great record. But uh, we we're eking some out here. And we've had, got more losses than than we're used to. And that's uh, hurting us a little bit here. Let's go Iginla. Throw you in there. There we go. One more win, boys. That's what I want to see. Gabriel Carlson. Uh, where was he? I do not remember. Uh, here's where Graves is. There we go. 
Ah, he's a top four, medium top four. That's why they uh, they want him. He's looking, he's pretty good. We'll keep him around. There we go. And a big win against uh, Tampa there. So, good way to end it. We will take it. Let's do a quick wrap up of this team. See where we sit. Uh, in 40 games, we've got <laughs> we're we're up by four points. Not bad. And uh, Panarin's a point per game guy. Not bad, Panarin. Not bad at all. 40 points in 40 games. Uh, Wenberg, 37 and 40. That's not bad. Atkinson's got 29. Yager's got 28. Vinci's got 26. Yorkstrand has 24. Not bad. He's actually one of the best power play guys we got right now. Boone Jenner, actually not doing too bad there on what was the fourth. Now he's uh, getting a little more playing time here. What we got to watch out for is these negatives here. So that sucks. Uh, Yorkstrand's minus three. We want our guys to grow, right? Ryan Murray's minus four. So those are the ones that you really got to watch out for. And goalies finally. Uh, Bobrovsky, 0 0.923, 2.27. So yeah, Bobrovsky slid a little bit, but you can expect that. He was uh, he was doing unbelievably good. Now he's just doing really good, you know. Uh, but Corpusalo, a little disappointed here in his over in his stats, but he's still young. And uh, hopefully he grows out of that. And let's take a quick look at our team stats here. See what we need to work on. We got 2.85 goals for, 2.6 against. So we need a little more defense. Uh, penalty kills 86%. That's pretty darn good. Uh, that's one of the highest there actually. And our power play is 16. So we got to work on our power play. But uh, where do we sit in the whole league here? We're actually first in the league, two ahead of Arizona. And Arizona. Holy shit, why is Arizona second in the league? They've got no one good. Huh, interesting. So that's a, that's a funny one right there, okay. Sure, Arizona. Liars, okay. Um, good, we're going to take a... Well, we're going to call this episode here. You guys can let me know what you think in the uh, comments. Um... Thanks a lot for joining me. For those on YouTube, take a look in the description below for my information. YouTube.com slash bus driver, twitch.tv slash bus driver, and bus driver on Twitter. All spelled with an L3 US. That's how you spell the bus, as you can see there on screen. Hit those like buttons, hit those follow buttons, hit those subscribe buttons so you can see when I'm live. Join me in chat. I appreciate it when you do. I try to stream every weekend I can. Um, we're going to be starting up an XCOM uh, run playthrough, and I'll be naming them after commenters and followers and subscribers. Um, and if you're in chat, you'll in in the Twitch chat, you'll get a you'll get a name in there too. So make sure you check that out uh, and follow my Twitter. It'll let you know when we're live and all that stuff. So other than that, hit that notify button so that way you guys can see the second these videos go live. And other than that, I will catch you in the next.